The address, Marga Minko. In this module, you will get an overview of the story, the address, and also learn about its author, Marga Minko. An overview. This is a story about loss and regret, experienced by the Dutch Jews who were inhumanly persecuted by the Nazis during the Second World War. It opens with the narrator, a young Dutch Jew girl, knocking on the door of an apartment, the address of which her mother gave her. A middle-aged woman answers her knock. She seems surreptitious and rudely tells the narrator that she has no time. The initial doubt that she had knocked at a wrong address is dispelled as the woman is wearing the green knitted cardigan that belonged to her mother. Reluctantly, she leaves and walks towards the station recalling what her mother had told her about Mrs. Dolling when she was taking away their nice things like silver cutlery, antique plates and vases for safety because she wasn't a Jew. She remembers her mother telling her Mrs. Dawling's address and asking her to commit it to her memory. Unable to get their belongings out of her mind, the narrator visits Mrs. Dawling's house again. This time, she is let in by the daughter. The rest of the story is a moving account of how the familiar objects evoke memories of the past and narrator's eventual decision to forget the address because, severed from the familiar surroundings, the erstwhile precious objects seem to have lost their value. About the author Marga Menko is the pseudonym for Sara Menko Born on 31st March 1920 in southwest Netherlands, Marga Minko is Dutch journalist and writer. Her actual surname was Menko, but an official accidentally switched the first vowel I to E. As a young girl, Marga, along with her Jewish parents, moved to Breda, a town near her birthplace. As a child, Minko hated her Jewish identity and often wished that she was like other non-Jewish children. In 1938, Marga Minko began work at the local newspaper, the Brede's Kukan, as a film reporter, but later joined the editorial desk. As a result of the persecution of Jews, she was dismissed from her post and went to Amsterdam, where she became a drawing teacher at a Jewish elementary school. Later in the war, Minko's parents, her brother and her sister were deported, but Sara escaped arrest and spent the time that the war was on in hiding. She was the family's sole survivor. She also received a new name, Marga Face, the first password to use. During the early 1950s, she published short stories in various magazines and newspapers. Minka was inspired by her experiences during the war, and her first short novel, Haid Bithere Kuriet, Bitter Herbs in English, is a painful story of a young girl during World War II. It sold 400,000 copies in the Netherlands alone. The novel was translated into several languages and Marga Minko was awarded the Vivier Berg Prize in 1958. Summary In this module, you have got an overview of the story the address, and also learned about its author, Marga Minko.